Now here I have a document that has a number of pictures in it and you can see each one has a particular style. But when I click on that picture, do you see what happens? I've got like a little border that pops up. I've got an icon here over here. And even in my ribbon, I've got a different tab that pops up. Now this tab, the picture format, this tab will specifically um, deal with options that I have and that I can apply to my picture. So I've got options over here to adjust the picture. I can change things like the color. I can apply artistic effect, etc. I've got a section in the middle here that deals with the different picture styles. And you can see as I move my mouse pointer over that, what actually happens. I can apply a picture border effects, change the layout um, and a number of other options. I can even crop it to a particular size as well. But on the picture itself, do you see these dots, right? These are known as my sizing handles. And you can see when I click on them and I move my mouse pointer around, it resizes the image. Yeah, I have my rotation handle. So when I click on that rotation handle and I move my mouse pointer around, you can see how that image moves. And then on the right hand side, I have what's known as my layout options. So this deals with the layout of my picture in relation to the text around it. Now, let's look at an, let's look at now let's just look at an example over here where I have a document and I've got text and you can see this text is running all the way over my picture and I don't want that, right? What do I want? Well, I want to be able to have the text move around my picture. So I can click on that. You can see picture format opens up over here and I've got these two options, position and wrap text. But I'm going to just stick to my layout options on the side and let's just make this as simple as possible. The first option I have is in line with the text. And do you see what happens when I choose that option? So let's go further down to text wrap because that's not actually or ideally what I want. Let's click on the first one square. Do you see what that looks like? Well, that looks very nice. Let's look at the next option. So you can see what happens. Okay. I saw the text move a little bit over. And that was the tight. So that's why it moved a little bit closer. This one is through. So let me just actually just move my image in the middle and you see why it's done this because it's now through. I can use top and bottom, which means the text only appears at the top and bottom. And I can say behind text as well so the image will be sort of in the background or in front of the text do you see that right so i think out of all of them i like uh tight and you can see i've got my image that i've moved into the middle and i've got my text running all the way around it and so these are just some of the options that i have when formatting pictures